My name is Kristina Tedroff and I am a pediatric neurologist and researcher at Astrid Lindgren's Children's Hospital and Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. And I like to present a study that we conducted uh, uh, here uh, together with my co-workers Dr. Kristina Löving and Dr. Eva Åström. And this study has recently been published in Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. And the title of this study is a Prospective Cohort Study Investigating Gross Motor Function, Pain and Health Related Quality of Life 17 Years After Selective Dorsal Rhizotomy in Cerebral Palsy. Selective Dorsal Rhizotomy or SDR is a permanent neurosurgical intervention and today we know that it has a, a very uh, uh, strong effect on spasticity reduction that is continuous for up to 10 years. But despite this, there uh, doesn't seem to be any effect on contractures. So uh, it has been reported a correlation between the time after SDR and the amount of orthopedic surgery needed for individuals who has undergone selective dorsal rhizotomy. In addition, there is currently no evidence that SDR has any positive long-term effects on the ICF domains of activity and participation, where one would typically find gross motor function. So, in this study, we wanted to see if the group of young adults that we have been following for 17 years had any possi possible other effect of the spasticity reduction uh, besides uh, the effect on uh, gross motor function and tone reduction. So we also investigated health-related quality of life, pain and physical activity. And what did we find? Well, we did find that 17 years after the SDL uh, the spasticity was still reduced in this group and we also find that the gross motor function when we assessed it by the GMFM 88 and by a mobility scale did deteriorate further between 10 years and 17 years after SDR. SDR did not prevent the development of contractures during the 17 years after the procedure 89% of the individuals did require orthopedic surgery, but reduced spasticity could possibly affect pain experience because half of the individuals did report pain, which corresponds to findings in previous studies. However, they did report low intensity and interference. And do you find this interesting? Please read our paper.